Hey, what's up guys? This is Seabone here. Welcome back to another episode of Gemstone Legends. And in today's episode, I wanted to do a short video to talk about some of the rare cards. So if you followed my uh, stream last Friday, I did a lot of summoning and I got a lot of three star cards and got to the point where it was just overflowing and I have tons and tons of cards in my inbox right now. So it can get a little bit overwhelming and I'm sure for a lot of people who are just starting out, they'll feel the same way as well. Like, what do you do with these cards? Uh, should you just sacrifice them, use them to upgrade other heroes? Should you just focus on upgrading uh, your legendary cards that you that you've picked up and just sacrifice your three star heroes to upgrade them? Well, based on uh, you know just my experience so far, playing you know after playing for a little bit, did, did a lot of reading and just kind of uh, figuring some things out. There's a lot of cards out there that are rare cards that are quite useful that you don't want to just sacrifice and there are you know two types of cards i think you know there's two situations i think you want to focus on number one is you can use these three star cards uh rare cards to get yourself a a legendary card okay so it's going to be guinevere and if you take a look at some of the other videos that are available guinevere you can see in action uh, you can you, you'll know that it has a fusion path you, you, there's a way for you to use other cards to uh to obtain her and uh, you'll see along the way uh, it requires three epic heroes and one rare hero okay so the one rare hero that you need is stanko so if you have stanko at three stars well you'll want to uh, get that up to five stars and then you can um, uh, you can then fuse her uh, use as a, a, a recipe to get guinevere and there's a bunch of other three star cards you can see here that you're going to need so you do need quite a bit of three star cards but the point here is if you've obtained these three star cards, eventually you'll be able to get them to um, to forge a uh, you know a five star legendary card. So I think that's pretty cool. And so if you take a look at what I'm doing right now, I have uh, in my training cam I have uh, some of these heroes that are needed already that I am um, that I am training so that I could level them up. Okay. So right now what I'm focusing on is I am focusing on. Uh, the Premislav uh, fusion. Okay, so Premislav needs a uh, four-star Ermac and a four-star Elijah, four-star Richard, and then a four-star Uru. So I have all of them except for Elijah. I have not yet gotten Elijah, but right now I am focusing on leveling these up to level 30, uh, which is the max level for a rare hero. And then you ascend them Okay, this is where you will use other three stars or maybe a three star cauldron uh, to then ascend them one star higher to be a four star card. Then you go in max level again and you'll be, be able to get yourself a premium slap. Now, as you're kind of going through the process of getting up to Gwyne Guinevere, Premium Slap is actually not a slouch of a card itself. It's actually a pretty good card as well. Uh, if you take a look at um, if you take a look at the card here, what we'll do is we'll, we'll just go to Lexicon, and then we will uh, take a look at um, look at him here. So if you did manage to use Fusion to get Premium Slap, you can see that it has pretty good skills. Okay, so this is a uh, AOE attacker. It will damage uh, to all your enemies. It does uh, cast. Uh, mana choke that means your enemies will not be able to gain mana and then it will it will also uh, heal okay so it heal whenever uh, you you kill an enemy and then there's a 30% chance that you will again damage all the uh, deal damage to all enemies whenever um, whenever he gets hit right so whenever he gets hit he, he kind of hits back there's a 30 30 percent chance of that so it's a pretty good card too so once you get to this you can also use an epic card for for your team so you can convert your three star card up to legendary that's one path the other path i was thinking is there are some cards in the game that are just pretty good i'm going to show you one right now so we're going to go into a campaign and i'm going to go into um cult back void and i'm going to to uh, engage in this right now and these are the cards i'm using so elador is a card that um if you use my download code so if you use the download link to install the game and use my code t-bone Hashtag T-Bone hashtag, you'll be able to get this card for free. All right. Now, as it happens, if you don't have this card, this is also a card that you can uh, use Fusion. So you can also Fusion uh, Elador as well. Uh, but the card that I think is really cool is Rhonda. All right. So Rhonda is a uh, rare card, and her ability 
is uh, is the follows. She will restore ten mana to all your allies, and then uh, grants board king to all allies for three turns. Now board king, uh, as a status, means that you will be able to to do four gem matches instead of three. So you get one extra extra match. Now that one extra match can make a huge difference in in your game you could gain more damage you can gain more mana uh and this is for all of your allies for three full turns and she herself will always have the ability to do, do gem match four turns so it's a passive ability and when she gets hit she will also recover mana she works well with elador who can uh you know who can actually heal her and then just to kind of add to this team because i'm fighting against water enemies i put in another uh, rare card floki here and you can see these are actually kind of low level so floki is only a, a, a level two and my um my ronda i'm just leveling her now she's at level nine uh so floki will grant immunity that means uh, you will be um you'll be immune from status uh, basically from from status and it also increases speed for all your allies so you can increase the speed for everyone so you want to you want to try and get uh, Rhonda to activate her skill quickly right and so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and do a fight so i can show you uh how how this looks so you can see she herself will be able to activate she herself will do four matches until she activates uh you know uh all of your opponent all of your you know allies will just be able to match three and now we're fighting against water enemies so bringing in an earth hero is going to significantly give you a, an advantage and that you'll survive longer because you have the you have the advantage of uh, the affinity bonus right it, it really makes a big difference in this game and then you can see here now that we've applied a uh, board king okay and the turn that you activate it the very next uh, uh, the, the the card if, if you if it's if you activate Rhonda but it's not her turn to, to to attack the card that's actually attacking will not get a bonus but all of your elders uh, other allies will right right then and there and then the card that uh, just attack will gain um, will gain the benefit of a board king next but the point here is you can see here I'm activating board king I'm going to stop this for a second you can sort of see all the statuses that, that's applied here so right now we got board king which matches an additional time uh, we got recovery of five you know five percent HP we got immunity so you can't be affected by negative statuses so I can't be slowed down uh, you know all kinds of goodness this is coming from Floki Elador and also from uh, Ronda okay so you can see like just having that extra match gives you that you know that buffer to be able to do you know more more damage to, to your opponents and you can also um you know just if, if you need a lot of times you find you just need a one match and this gives you that so i think that ronda is a really really good card to have uh, in an earth card i think if you level her up she can be a really really useful card for you now another card that i think is good to use uh, as a rare card is going to be Elias. So Elias is a card that you get as part of just playing the game. Just by starting the game, you will get Elias. And I just uh, ascended him to four stars. And so this card gives you, you know, it damages all enemies. That's the first thing. And it also has a chance to freeze all of the enemies for two turns. And it also guarantee to slow them down uh, for two turns. And it is also a card that will speed up uh, on its own, like with its passive ability. And so uh, I liked using this card a lot because like, I find that, you know, in a lot of situations when I when I was playing, uh, I would, you know, often be in the bind. And then when I freeze them, that now gives me a little bit of time to, um, you know, to take a breather, you know, get a little bit of heal, use other uh, skills on it uh, against enemies. And because you're slowing them down, you can also, uh, you know, get more chances to attack. So you can you can see here, you know, uh, with combination of Rhonda giving you the ability to match more uh, you have more chances of getting that blue uh, blue gem match so that you could actually you know uh, get the mana up more and and you know just I think overall it, it also plays really well now Elias is is a card that again is a, is a rare card you do see quite a few people will uh, spend time focusing on it so this is more uh, the path where you want to just you know f 
focus on getting your three star heroes or your rare heroes you want to send them you want to get them stronger you want to use them uh, i think this card definitely has uh the potential for you to um to use it uh, with good uh, great results so you can see here we were able to um, get through with these three cards uh we can do three stars on this level here which is in um in called back void all right now another card that i was just kind of looking looking at which was um a, a, a light card here so we'll go, we'll go to lexicon here and it's going to be in the empire so if you take a look at uh, benedict so benedict is another card that uh, has a lot of use in that this is a card that will restore health okay so it's a good card to, to, to give you health restore and it removes a negative status from allies which can be very useful okay negative statuses uh are things like you know decreased speed or you're burning or something typically it is something that um i find that um i i take advantage of a, a lot like i did the, the, the dispel and you can also have uh, increased defense but i think mostly it's about uh, his ability to to um to dispel now what i was doing uh, what i was playing when i when i was doing my stream i got sigil so sigil has a very similar um a very similar uh um you know ability but it will review three negative status instead of one so it's a legendary card so obviously it has a lot more uh, power there but i find myself using the dispel a lot and so being able to cleanse uh, is really good and given that it's a rare hero like in the beginning if you get this card and you're finding yourself getting hit by a lot of uh you know statuses that cause you you know just issues throwing a card such as benedict will be helpful as well now the list i've come up here okay so this is not going to be your best cards in the game to to use but these are some of the examples of like what i found to be reasonable like they're useful you can use them for different situations and you could uh you could use it for uh definitely for with quite a bit of success because you can also level them all the way up to uh to six stars and so there's there's going to be other options available as well and i definitely uh, think that as i go along i will find more examples of ones that are superb okay and i'll definitely uh, showcase them more as well but for now these are the three cards i'm going to highlight these are easy to use easy to obtain easy to level up and so i highly uh, encourage you to take a look give it a shot and see if you can form a team with it comment in the uh, video below and let me know what you think what are the other options that you go with what are some of the other cards that you recommend uh keep in the uh you know keep the ideas flowing so that we can all learn from it as well that's going to be it for me for today guys thanks a lot for watching i will see you in the next episode take care